Hello students, I hope you are gearing up for your exams and as exams are nearing, I know the fear and anxiety also goes up, right? But there's no need to fear, no need to be anxious because it's going to be very simple and I'm going to give you some tips on this caring for our soil. I hope you have already watched uh, my video on caring for our soil where it, I've explained everything in detail. But here is the gist of what you have to concentrate and what you have to remember. So these are the tips to remember, the most important points. So here we go. First thing is what is soil erosion? The definition of soil erosion is very important. What happens? There is a removal of the top layer of the soil. And then what are the causes for the soil erosion? We have different causes. We should know all these causes. Okay, Deforestation, removal of trees, okay, cutting down of trees, wrong agricultural practices. Okay, You do not give enough time for crops and then there is no crop rotation and there is no terrace forming and everything is done, cut off, trees are cut down. So th those all come under wrong agricultural practices and then you have overgrazing. More than what is there. The cattle is just doing it. But why all this? Because there is a spurt or a growth in population. Okay. Next, what is the impact? Because of all these things, there will be something happening. When we do something bad, we definitely have some consequences. Okay. Same thing here also. When all these things happen, you have salination. Salination means all the mineral salts are deposited on the top layer of the soil. And then there is siltation. What happens? All the soil is washed away, the top layer, everything is eroded. And they come and silt down or sediment in a different place. That's siltation. And then wastelands. Because of all these wrong agricultural practices, the cultivable land is becoming a waste land because it loses its soil fertility. Okay, next we go to the soil conservation methods. What are the different methods by which we can conserve? Okay, whatever is running out, we have to keep them, protect them. And the first one is terrace farming. We should not give up on terrace farming. And terrace farming is usually suitable in hilly areas. Okay, just like, you know, we wear different kinds of clothes. For summer, we wear something. We don't wear sweaters in in summer okay so there is different kinds for different seasons just like that different areas have different conservation methods now contour bonding is for areas where you have low rainfall check dams it will reduce the velocity of water then we go to when you come to the check dams we cannot miss thinking about this tarun bharat sang it's a very important uh, organization founded by rajendra singh Okay, he is called as a waterman of India and this is for is present in Rajasthan. It was in it is initially started in Rajasthan. Of course, now it has uh, spread to different states and the speciality of this is Johats. Okay, that's the highlight. Then you have the fuel wood. See, most of the rural women, they depend on wood from the trees. If you see even the poor people living in the outskirts of the cities too, they would go in search of dry twigs and other things so that they can burn and they can have their food. So that's called fuel wood and there's no cost and nobody is going to control and it's 99% combustible. So and it's a great help for the poor. But what is the impact? If people keep on cutting, cutting, cutting down trees, then it results in deforestation. And if there are no trees, the temperature rises up. And if the temperature rises up, it results in global warming. Okay. And also the groundwater also decreases. See, as long as the temperature is maintained, there is proper rainfall. When the temperature increases, the groundwater goes down and also causes acid rain. Why? How acid rain? The smoke that comes out, that releases oxides of sulfur and nitrogen and causes acid rain. Then we go mainly, this is a very important part of this chapter, what is the impact on women? Okay, because it's the women who do most of the cooking and the household work. So they are constantly facing the smoke that comes out of burning this fuel wood.
and that smoke actually you will not believe that the amount of smoke that they are inhaling is almost equivalent to it's not equal to it's almost approximately 20 pack of cigarettes per day can you imagine how much of smoke is going into the lungs of those poor ladies and that causes asthma cancer and lung infections okay and not only that when they constantly see that smoke they call it causes irritation and the redness of the eyes also and then what are the alternatives to timber what is timber anything usable wood that we use for furniture for construction for paper everything is called as timber and this timber we do have to find alternatives because it's running out fast the way the trees grow it takes about 10 to 15 years but the way we are cutting down is like 10 to 15 months or days so we have to find alternatives in building alternatives are iron and steel and pvcs and in furniture again it is iron and steel and pvc and then for paper you have bagas that's a residue of sugarcane that could be used then how do we combat this now we have to build up trees we have to grow trees we can't build anything we can't construct so the first organization about it is jfm joint forest management okay and how is this managed by three groups of people working together always teamwork is the best okay so this is managed by the government the local people or local communities plus some NGOs working along with them to develop some forest and forest products. And then you have social forestry and you also have agroforestry. Agroforestry is nothing but it's a mixture. It has three dimensions, agriculture, livestock and forest. So these are the things we are going to see and we are going to see some of the MCQs based on these points. First question here is removal of top fertile soil by any agent, rain, uh, rain, wind or deforestation. What is it called? Just now we saw that the definition of what is it? Soil erosion is removal of top fertile soil. So this is the answer. Soil erosion is the answer. Soil conservation method used in areas of low rainfall. See when you come to conservation methods, we saw that. This low rainfall will have contour bunding. So that is the answer. Soil conservation method for hilly regions. See hilly regions you can't have a flat ground. But what is necessary is step kind of crop cultivation. And that is called as terrace farming. It is not mulching. It is not tree breaks. But it is terrace farming. Then. What is this dam that reduces the velocity of water? In fact, you can argue that even large dams can do it. But large dams are mostly for generation of two things. That is for irrigation they provide as well as for hydroelectric power. So it's almost these two are having similar functions. But it is the check dam that controls soil erosion also. So that is the answer. Improper land use and intensive farming, you know, because of need is so much, demand for food is so much and overgrazing. What will happen? See, the soil will lose its fertility. So, how much ever you cultivate, it's not going to give its yield. And finally, it turns into waste lands. It's not wetlands, it is not cultivable land, but it becomes a waste land. Tarun Bharatsang is an NGO in the state of which state is TBS in? Okay, it's mainly in, it is in Rajasthan. Okay, highlight of it. What is the speciality of Tarun Bharatsang? What did Rajendra Singh do? Did he make dams? Did he build Aries or did he build Johads? He started off with Johads. They are still, there are so many thousands of Johads in Rajasthan. Deposition of mineral salts on top soil. Now see here, they will give similar words and try to confuse you. There is one, salination is there, siltation is there, sedimentation is there. Sedimentation is also deposition. But said it can deposit anything, so you roll it out. Siltation is only sedimenting soil, so that's also not there. 
So what's the next one? Salination is the deposition of mineral soils. So this is the answer. Next, deposition of soil particles. See here we don't have minerals, we don't have anything else, but we have soil particles. Then that is called as siltation. So siltation is the correct option. Next, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen released by burning fuel wood, not only fuel wood, burning and uh, um, automobile exhaust, okay, industries and fuel wood, all these things can give away these oxides and they would cause acid rain, okay. Sulfur will form sulfuric acid and it will come down as sulfuric acid rain. Nitrogen could form, oxides of nitrogen can form nitric acid rain, okay. So it is acid rain. A housewife who uses fuel wood for cooking, how much of gases does she inhale? It is equivalent to how many packets? It's not 2, it's not 10, but it is 20. So 20 is the correct answer. So that's the correct option. JFM, okay, stands for what? See, when you come across these short things, abbreviations, please learn the expansions of it because there may be many questions based on that, okay. So JFM stands for, what are the three options? Jubilee Forest Magic, Joint Forest Management, Jaguar Forest Movement. What are we learning to combat for deforestation? The first thing we are learning is, what is it? Joint forest move, management. Why joint? Because it is not a single deal, but it's a teamwork of three people, the government, the local communities and NGOs together. Okay, so it is joint forest move management. The next one, alternatives to timber in furniture. So in the place of say, we make all chairs and wardrobes and everything made of wood. Okay, now what are the alternatives for it? We could use glass and mesh. Can we use glass for everything? No, not necessarily, isn't it? Rubber and plastic? No, 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 plastic. Say no to plastic. Then what's the next option? Iron and steel. Yes, they are strong and they will be long duration also. So alternative will be iron and steel. Alternatives to timber in paper industry. Paper is made from trees, remember. So we have to be very careful with the usage of paper. What is the alternative of paper? We can, can we use again, we can use tall trees. Again, they are trees. Isn't it? Trees are trees. Bagas, yes, possibility is there because it is a residue of the sugar cane. So as long as sugar is being produced, the sugarcane has to be squeezed and the residue bagas can be used to make paper and not water plants. So bagas is the answer. Okay. So this is how you find out the correct options for these MCQs. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have been benefited, don't forget to like and to share it with your friends and also to subscribe to this channel. A little more on this chapter in the next video. Stay tuned and watch.